you good. Oh, okay. Uh, I'd like to welcome everybody to the Banky Pound YouTube. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Don't know how this going to go. We're going to go live with this stuff. And we're going to try to make this good food for y'all. Since y'all been hollering for cooking videos. We're going to try to give you cooking videos live. So we're going to double down since we ain't had none in a while. We're going to go ahead and try to do that. But so when we're cooking, we're going to get clean in here. Because, you know, we got to be with the coronavirus and everything. So we're going to try to put these gloves on. We're going to use a mask. Now, this is the first and only time y'all probably going to see me with anything that represents the Cowboys on. But the only reason y'all going to see this is because this is my cousin, man. One of my favorite cousins. He just passed away. We had a, a memorial for him. And this is what one of the keepsakes they had. So I'm going to wear this to represent him. This is uh, James Nene Coma. Rest in peace. So I'm going to use this mask. And we're going to get the cooking in here. And we're going to make some good old food. So, I'd like to introduce y'all to my van of black. This is Destiny, a.k.a. Big Sexy. Tune in to her. Go subscribe to her. She got her own YouTube channel. This is my son's best friend slash road dog slash it ain't none of my business. And um, <laughs> y'all just uh, tune in to her and... She's going to help me with reading the comments and stuff because I'm going to be trying to cook this food and multitask at the same time. But I also want to interact with, interact with y'all. So we're going to get started by letting you know what's going on here. This is one of the meals I used to make in there. It was, it was uh, I only made when, the, um, they had, when we had hot dogs because we always had chili because we could order chili off of the commissary. So... Whenever we had hot dogs, you used to get people to bring the hot dogs back. And I used to take the chili and mix it with the hot dogs and use those ingredients. And this is live, so, you know, we got to have to take those little things. But, yeah, so I used to take that and I used to make this meal with macaroni and cheese, the noodles, and the green peppers and onions and stuff. And, and mix it all together with, with the chili. And the hot dog. So you really get like a chili cheese dog with mac and cheese. And then I put it all in a wrap and I fry it. And it comes out delicious. You know what I'm saying? Delicious. Shout out to uh, Miss Jackie who sent me these rolls too, man. I love them. I'm aware with my cooking as well as Veronica Vasquez who sent me the other rolls. I'm going to switch them up because I plan to do a lot more cooking shows. So, as I start preparing this food, I want to answer some of y'all comments that y'all writing in. So, Miss Dad, so tell me something somebody's saying so I can respond. They say take the mask on. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see, let's see. Jackie, I always said, what dishes are you cooking? You already answered that. Samuel Pagan said, what's up, Banky? What's up, Samuel? Hey, um, what's happening? Kimoy said, what's up? Excuse me, I don't think you need that mask, please. <laughs> yeah, they're adamant about that. Yeah, the mask is representing. I'll take it off in a little bit. We'll get some of this food down in order. And then, um, y'all know what I look like? Y'all seen me? It's still me. I'm the same cat. Cody Perez said, mm -hmm. can you call me? I'm in the hospital. I want to hear from a big role model in my life. Cody who? Perez. I hope I'm saying that right. My apologies if I'm not. Cody, per Cody Perez has sent me his number. You heard that, Cody? Yeah, I sent it. Send me your number, Cody. Sorry, you're in the hospital. Get well soon, bro. Thank you, Lionel Dor Dorsey. Um, they say I'm beautiful. Um, Dan Albright. What up, Uncle Banky? Savannah, Georgia in the building. Savannah, shout out Savannah. <laughs> What's up, Savannah, Georgia? Van Albright said, looking like Chris Carter. Hi. I get a lot of that, but I don't agree. But, you know, we can agree to disagree. All right. Lana Dorsey was good from New Orleans. Happy for all your success. D. Robertson, Fort Benning, okay. Georgia. Okay. 
We got the hot dogs right here. They already pre-cooked because that's how we get them in there. I'm just going to warm them up. Have them ready. Jackie Oliver, you see you are too sexy for that. Mm. Johnson, love the watch. Yeah, that's my favorite watch. All right, we're going to get this mac and cheese jumping. Keeping, keeping it right now. What's up, Banky Pound from Lila County, Virginia? Not away. I made parole from Not away. Shout out Not away. King Meta 25 underscore 2 said, Banky positive, positivity is helping me while I'm recovering from COVID. That's oh, what's up. That's what's up. Special lady Bob on being told you. You lose. Yeah. When, we, when we was in there, this is how we used to break the news up. We used to slam them on the ground and break them up and stuff. But I ain't want to do that because... I ain't want to shock or scare nobody. <laughs> but that's literally what we used to do in there, to break our noodles up. So every time we get it, someone would turn around and look like, what's going on? Somebody's trying to do it. They still continue to do it all the time. Can you explain to Mutt17 Braidlock, are you Banky's daughter? Yeah. Yeah, Mutt17 Braidlock, you know what I'm saying? Who they want to know, are you? Are you ready? None of my business. <laughs> All right. That boy Jock, you don't reply to my comments. That boy Jock, I just seen you right now. That is not my daughter, but she is like my daughter. Y'all heard it. Bottom Heights, hey, thank you from Petersburg. Shout out Petersburg. What's happening out there? Princess, Prince of Persia, sorry. Awesome. I cannot pronounce that, sir. Brother Banky, I'd like to send you some Cleveland Browns gear. What size you wearing? Oh, I wear a large up top and a um, uh, medium down the bottom, but large, regular size fitted cap. Cleveland doing all right too, man. I think Cleveland going to be good. I think they're going to be good. I think Baker Mayfield going to come around. I think he's doing his thing. Rue Tusser says, sounds tasty, but I hope you're eating healthier than this on a daily basis. I want to see you stick around for a long time. I ain't trying to go nowhere. You can believe that. I got too much stuff to do. Big Lee said, life's tough. Negativity all around. That's why I had to tune into Banky Pound. Respect from Texas. That's right. Shout out Texas, man. Life is tough, man, but you just got to keep a positive outlook on it, man. You got to look at it like Whatever happens, man, you're still alive, you still, you know, moving forward, you still got your family, you still got another day to make it better, so it's all good, man. We can't, uh, we can't sit around and complain about something we can't change, so we just got to keep on pushing, you know. We got to keep on pushing, so keep your head up, man, and keep on pushing forward, man. Don't never let no negativity stop you. Always move forward. Sammy Pagan said, when are you going to start using the stove? <laughs> huh? I am going to use the stove. Don't think I can't use the stove, neither. I can use the stove now. I just ain't got to that stage yet because I'm still at the inception. We you know, it's only been a short period of time. Give me a minute. We're going we gonna to advance. We're going to do some more things. And the stove, not only will I use the stove, I will use the grill. Yeah. So, who said that? Is that is that a challenge, Sammy? Just let me know. Just let me know if that's a challenge. I can use it, man. All right. Start. Dakota Pat, Patty, I hope I'm saying that right. Or Pat, say hi, baby. Hello, Dakota. How you doing? I take these hot dogs and chop them up. Small pieces. Boy Jock said it looked like Coach Doc Rivers. Ah, uh, no. No, no, no. Shout out Doc Rivers, though. I like Doc, man. Dr. Soldier. Hey, T. Shannon said, hey, why, why don't you do a holiday cooking series? Ah, uh, okay. Let me tell you something about the cooking thing. 
I would like to cook for y'all as much as possible, but you got to understand this takes time and it takes space and opportunity. As y'all know, I am not, you know, living by myself, so I got to respect other people's space and other people's uh, privacy. So it's just it's the opportunity open right now, so I'm trying to do something and cook, but you know, later on when I get more space and more opportunity, it'll be more cooking going on and on. Uh, we can make a whole lot of different things. So, it's this mac right here. We can ready to whip that while we cook these soups. Ron Cabasco said, hey, baby. Hey, Veronica, how you doing? Hope all is well with you. Appreciate all the love and all the support that you give me. I appreciate that. Uh, she's been a big supporter of mine from the beginning. She always give me a uh, shout out. She send things. She uh, write, and um, she's always real supportive and positive. So I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I don't take that stuff for granted because, like I say, no one has to be supportive. No one has to listen to anything that anybody has to say. So when someone does, you got to respect that. And you can't take it for granted. What's happening? How you doing out there? How y'all feeling out there today? All this rain and stuff going on. How y'all feeling? What y'all doing? This is a good time to be in the kitchen, whipping up some food, getting everything right. I want to... Uh, this is what I need to do tomorrow. I need to cook, cook something good for tomorrow. How many of y'all gonna watch that fight tomorrow? Hmm? How many of y'all gonna watch that... No Manchinko and Lopez fight. I got to watch it. Been waiting for it for a long time. Can't wait to see it. I wish I could watch it and commentate, but I know that when I watch it, I'm gonna be so animated and watching it, I'm not gonna be able to focus besides watching the fight. This is the chili. We're gonna cook this, we're gonna warm this up. Lionel Dorsey said Lopez is going to win. Uh, Lionel Dorsey, I'm sorry to tell you that is incorrect. That is incorrect. <laughs> oh, I almost choked. Tierra um, Plana playing too much. Tierra Plana Columbia said, and hello to your stepdaughter, future father-in-law. What? <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I stay, in, I stay in my own business. I don't know what's going on. I just... Uh, DH3, Lopez ain't winning, sorry. Definitely is not. That's somebody who know what they're talking about. Lopez has work cut out, man. He's a good young fighter, but he just, it's just, he moving a little bit too fast. It's a little bit before his time. Is there a lot of boxing fans out there? Who will win D. Robinson? Who will win the fight? Lomachenko. In my opinion, now, uh, Lopez, can he win? Yes, he can win. He's a powerful puncher. He's young. He, he, he ambitious. He got a lot of things on going his way, but I just don't think nothing beats experience, you know, besides father time. So that means, is, is, is Lomachenko too old? I don't think so. He's only like 32, so Father Time hasn't caught up with him yet. So that's the only one that I think can beat him. I think he's a magnificent fighter, you know, so that's just my opinion. But, you know, when you get in that ring, anything can happen. That's just how it go. So we're going to see tomorrow night for sure. One thing about boxing, they you're going to find out who the best person is. Bring these noodles out. Alex Batiste said, how you feel about Tyson and Roy? Uh, I want to see that too. Plan to see it. Um, I think if you get a uh, vintage Mike Tyson in there, he most definitely going to win. Um, not to disrespect Roy, just only because uh, Tyson is just a naturally bigger dude and Roy is small. 
Roy is normally, Roy started out as 160 pounds. Tyson's been a heavyweight all his life, so I just think that, that plays a factor in, in the whole fight, so. Homeless thought said, take that mask off, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Ask them, would y'all want the people in the restaurant cooking right now with the corona going on without the mask on? Other people's going to eat this food. So that's why the mask is on. It come off when I finish. I heard him. <clears throat> yeah, that nigga ain't never seen me. Am I looking that different? With a mask on? Doc Marl said, boy, I got a glass chin. <laughs> People only say that because of the few times that, uh, that he lost, but what about the 60 plus times that he win? So, I'm putting a different one. You got mac and cheese, that's what makes mac and cheese good. You got to put different types of cheeses and to make it real cheesy, that's mac and cheese. We got the um, cheese blend for the mac and cheese. We got the four state cheddar. And we got the triple cheddar. So we got a lot of different cheeses going in our mac and cheese to make sure it's really cheesy. And then we're gonna put a little secret ingredients in our mac and cheese. We're gonna put a little bacon bits in there. Some maple bacon bits in there. Everybody likes bacon bits. They should. They should. Besides my son, he ain't gonna eat it. <laughs> yeah. He ain't gonna eat it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, so, who do you like in the heavyweight division? In the heavyweight division right now, the man is the man on um, Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury is the man, man. Until you beat the man, you the man. You know, that's just how it go. And um, right now, Tyson Fury is beating everybody. And he's a better boxer is why he wins. He's a better boxer. The art of the sport is boxing, and he's a better boxer. So. This is why he's winning his fights. Because he has real boxing skills. And Dante Wilder just was the knockout artist. So there's a difference. You okay? Yeah. These people are funny. Can you believe been watching you since the first video with Joe? Love the biz. Yeah, shout out Joe, man. Shout out Joe out the prison show, man. Ain't nothing but love over here, Joe Mission, man. Yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, who you say said that? Oh, All right, well, shout oh, out King Louis. King Louis. Shout out King Louis. Shout out out the prison show. Keep watching King Louis. Tell a friend. Let's get some more subscribers over here. Thank you, thank you. Bowman said, Warwick no longer has his reflexes. Age took that from him. He has no base fundamental boxing skills. Tyson has fundamental <laughs> boxing skills and power. You can't take that away, even. Look at this good stuff. Eight Look at that. See, that's mac and cheese. Look at that. Watch that cheese. Look at that. That's mac and cheese. Now, you can't say Roy don't have these things because this is what people get confused with average boxing fan. You can't say Roy no longer has those skills. It just looks like that to you because of what he used to look like. But an average man get in there with Roy, he won't last three minutes. So it just looks like that. Roy is one of the greatest fighters of all time. Easily he was the best fighter in the world for a decade. So that's just not a coincidence. So I got much respect for Roy, man. Much respect. Put the noodles up in here. What kind of seasoning you put in there? Use the seasoning from the from the noodle pack. Season it from the noodle packs. Put in there. Might add a little accent seasoning. A little garlic or what and uh whip that in there. And we take these onions and peppers and hot dogs and we mix them with the noodles. 
put them back in the microwave and let them marinate a little bit. So what else is going on in this world that the Banky Team Banky Pound supporters want to talk about besides boxing? Deshaun Fenwick said, I am new to the channel. Say they new to the channel? Who mm -hmm. said that? Deshaun Fenwick. Deshaun Fenwick, I appreciate you. I need you to get some more new friends and bring them over here too. So oh. we can have a good old party over here. Homeless Scott said, you should do that spicy noodle challenge for a video. Spicy noodle challenge? What is a spicy noodle challenge? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Yeah. Enlighten me. You just going over to my YouTube and watch the video. Oh, yeah, I heard you saying something uh, about spicy noodles. I had to wash them off. Uh, what, uh, they try to eat the spicy noodles? Mm-hmm. Okay. You turn it out right. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ron Provasso has Banky brag about the Banky bagel I made. Oh, yeah. She did make the Banky bagel, and it did look good and delicious. And I didn't taste it, but it looked the part. It definitely looked the part. Without a shadow of a doubt. I seen it. She sent me the picture. So, yeah, you did a good job. Philip Coyle, spicy noodles used to eat ghost peppers raw with a smile. You different. You different. <laughs> he used to eat them raw with a smile. Yeah, that's different. I got it. Okay, now we mix these mac and cheese with the noodles. Aaron Burge sent $5. Does Yankee do soul food? Yes, I do. But you got to understand, just like uh, the person who asks, do I cook on the stove? Yes, I do. But when we started this, they wanted to know what I was cooking in prison. I was not cooking on the stove in prison. So that's why I've been showing y'all the recipes and stuff that I cook in there. But it does not mean that I can't cook on the stove. Because I can. Because skills translate. So, absolutely. Now, you see that? Ain't it looking good? I think it is. Y'all want to smell it? Ah! See that smoke coming from up over there? Yes. Put the season right here in there. It's that spicy season right there. So they're talking about the spicy noodle challenge. You talking about this? Mm -mm. Oh, because mm -mm. I, that ain't nothing. got not. fire signs. It look like a caution, warning, something that you don't Oh, want to that say. stuff ain't going to hurt me. Right, that stuff ain't going to hurt me. I'm built for it tough. That stuff ain't going to hurt me. We'll check that out. We'll see about that. Okay. Little baby, bubby, bubs, pinky toe shine. <laughs> I'm sorry. Baby, you got the Texas feet. You know he ain't playing. No. That's a good name. Mm. You got a mean name. There you got <laughs> Little baby, bubby, bubs, pinky toe. <laughs> um, Rob, pop, pop. It's chilly know. in here. Said, baby P, I got my whole family catching a vibe with you. And we about to. 10 strong. Stay blessed, brother. That's what's up. Shout out to y'all. I appreciate that. Shout out to them. 10 strong. That's what I'm talking about. Numbers. Numbers. Y'all gonna try to make this? You know if y'all gonna try to make this. I'm telling you now. This stuff here. This stuff here like that. We ain't got to the good part yet. Mm -hmm. I used to whip this up on game night, fight night, sometimes just any night. Oh, Master, yes, thank you. Respect to your channel. Better to have your cash up instead of receiving it through PowerChat. You two be taking too much out the chat. Keep up the good work. 
Appreciate you. I appreciate you for sure. Thank you. Much respect. Lionel Dorsey said, what would you like the new Washington football name to be? The Banky Pam team. <laughs> team. Team Banky Pam from Washington, D.C. That would be beautiful. Yes. But uh, I don't know, man. I think... Um, I think in our hearts, we always feel like they're the Redskins and you, you know, that's what you grew up with, that's what you know, but whatever they do and whatever they name them, I think that's how they're going to always be looked at as the Redskins. So I think they should just leave it as just Washington football team for real, just because, you know what I'm saying? No one is going to really uh, ever look at them as anything different. And that's what they always be remembered as. I would suggest that everybody who uh well, these cheap gloves, I would suggest that everybody who got any type of Redskins paraphernalia to keep it. I I I do think it'll be worth a lot of money in the future. I believe that without a doubt, because it was a Redskins for a long time. So you got anything, especially something that's brand new with some tags on it. I would advise you to hold on to it. Ginger Snap said, hi, Banky. What's your favorite season? <clears throat> freedom. Freedom is my favorite season. I was in there so long, I didn't pay attention to the season. So, uh, freedom is my favorite season. I, I like it when it's cold more so than when it's hot because, you know, you can do something about the cold. You can bundle it up or whatever. But the heat, ain't no getting away from that heat. Ain't no getting away from that heat, so... That's a whole different ball game. So, JC three one three said, "It's JC from the three one three. Shout out, homie. I've been down from day one. We're gonna starve that negativity and feed the positivity." That's what I'm talking about. Hey, hey, hey. That's what I'm talking about. Starve that negativity and feed that positivity all day long, man. What good do it do you? What good do it do you to hate? What good do it do you to, you know what I'm saying? To to always look at everything in a negative light, man. We gotta be more positive, man. We can turn the whole situation around. We can turn a whole lot of stuff around if we start looking at it different. Everything is an angle, how you look at it. That's what boxing is, it's an angle. If you know the angles, you get in a position to, put, to, to do damage. If you don't know the angle, then the other man get in a position to do damage because when they both get in the ring, they both know how to fight, but it's who going to be the thinker. Who going to be the thinker? Coy Fort sent 20 blessings upon blessings. Oh, okay, man. Anyway, your arms are huge. Appreciate you. Appreciate I you, Corey. Agree. I put I a little agree. work in. I put a little something in, you know. But you I know. thought that the same See that, the ring king? That's right. Uh, appreciate that. I appreciate that, though, man. I, I told you I never take it lightly when uh, people, you know, send their hard-earned money, man. I think that's uh, I think that's amazing, man, that people would do that. So much love. Shout out for you for that. Okay, this is going to get to the good part a little bit here. What we can do is this. You can sprinkle a little cheese on this money like this. Then, we can lace this thing up. Christy Pierce said, I'm at work watching you. I've been watching from the first video with Joe. Canada? 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 Yeah, okay. I thought it was Canada. She said she at work now watching. Actually, yeah. is it make is it making you hungry? If you take your lunch break yet, it should be making you hungry. If it's not, then I'm not doing it right. Okay, here we go. Here. Sam Bronin, Bronin, I can never miss a video. You're the best, thank you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Brian Bauer, who got who you got in the fight tomorrow night? Low man Chico. Low man Chico, I can never go against a man with his accomplishment and his skills. No man is invincible, but if I had to bet everything on it, I would have to go with him. Now, is it a possibility that he can use lose, of course. But I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't bet on it. Okay, we got this out of the way. Now see, normally, I would use these tape chip bags. 
and put them in the chip bag and fry them. But don't think I'm going to be able to do that for you today only because we have no newspaper. And that's what we use, the newspaper. So I want to protect the mic microwave because this is why you use the newspaper. But being we out here in this new world, people don't use the newspaper no more. Everybody use uh, the internet and all that. So it's making even uh, newspapers obsolete. So this is the way that I did it. The last time y'all seen me do the bagels, that would be the same concept you would use with these wraps. You would put them in here and wrap them up in the newspaper and you would fry them. But you can still cook them like that. They just come out a little different instead of fried, but they still come out cooked and good. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna double wrap this one and, and put it in there. We're gonna see how that will come out for y'all. Maybe we get a tester like Destiny or Destiny or Lionel Dorothy. <laughs> Lionel Dorothy is Big Sexy Dez. B-I-T-S-E-X-Y-D-S. Thank you. David. Oh. Mm. So, mm. David Z. I got half bag of coffee and two soups for a wrap, my dude. Hey, hey, that hey look. Now that used to be a good price. <laughs> that used to be that used to be a good price. I know he must know something or know somebody. That used to be a good price right there. Thank you, Veronica Vasquez. I appreciate it. Tell, tell, tell old boy I got him just because he's supporting the channel. I got you. It's free, dog. It's on the house. Right. It's on the house, man. Babe, I'm so sorry if, like, you send a voice message somehow and I can pronounce it right, give you a shout out properly. I got you, man. I'm sorry. Thank you, Francine Smith. I'm Sean. He's not doing a good job already, Thomas. Yeah, shout out, shout out, big, big sexy dads, man. Doing a good, uh, fan of black impression. Blessed woman said, You remind me of my husband. He did a 15 bed. When he came home, everything cooked had noodles, summer sauce, cheese, and chili. Hey, hey, you know what you know. You know, you know what you know. Ashley, did, did it taste good? Chrissy Pierce said, yes, yeah, she's hungry at work watching this I video. know that's right. She's hungry. <laughs> I know that's right. Thank uh, you, Queen C. Smith and Lionel Dorse for subscribing. Oh, nah, Van Alberts and Uncle Van you ever been knocked out? Tell them about yourself. Check. He yeah. said, have I ever been knocked out? Have you ever been knocked out? What? Giggle. <laughs> Get me. <laughs> Hold on for me. Let me process that. <laughs> you zoom in on this one here. See what that say? That say Ring King. Not Ring Prince. Not Ring Junior. Ring King. Of course I haven't been knocked out, man. Now, have you ever seen the movie uh, Undisputed? If you ever see that movie Undisputed, they got the whole concept is a champion boxer from the street comes into prison and meets a dude that's been the champion in prison for a long time. The character was played by Wesley Snipes. He was the champion in prison. His name was Monroe. And he had been undefeated the whole time he was in prison, but he just couldn't get out. That would be me. Yeah. That would be me. Ain't nobody knocking me out. Bless woman say, yeah, it was good. Yeah, I know that's right. David. Zabod me. I tried. See there that? we go. They can't mm. smell it. They can't smell it. But it's in there. It's in there. Mm. Yeah, More. Thanks, Dave. Mm. Oh, I'm glad you see the thumbs up. Smell away. Oh, my nephew. Francine Smith, Smith said we need smell vision I know, man. I've been, I've been asking for it the whole time. We need smell camp. Auntie Pee Wee said they're supporting from California. They love you. And oh, Lord, oh, I know oh, that. Oh, oh. Who you. said that? Auntie Pee Wee? Auntie Pee Wee. Auntie Pee Wee. Shout out to Auntie Pee Wee. Auntie Pee Wee is a big supporter. I know that because I see your name on comments all the time. Shout out to you. I appreciate you. I appreciate your support. I appreciate the love. Send it right back to you. Right back to you. 
right back to you. Auntie Pee Wee always support me. Always. See her name on there a lot. Tawana McNeil said, can't wait to watch all the videos this time because I'm where it pays my bills. Work. She said she... <laughs> Yeah, I can understand that. I can understand that, but I appreciate the little bit of time that you gave me. I appreciate it to the fullest. I know people got to work out there. I know they got things to do. So, in the words of Jay-Z, you could have been anywhere, but if you was right here, I appreciate you. Big Sexy, you want to try this? Tell them what it's like. It's real hot now, so you got to watch yourself. It's hot. I'm I glad mean, you told me this last yeah. time I ain't getting no warning. I'm wearing my <laughs> mouth off. Y'all see it? I could. Hold on now. You see I this? Could, uh, make it easier for you. Make it easier for you. Yeah. Yeah. Make it easier for you. Yeah. Yeah. Make it easier for you see? It's a sharp night here. Y'all been waiting all day. I know y'all only see when the food comes out, but that's that's because I'm a test subject. I'll be good all the time. There you go. Look at this. Uh, this. Me. Hold up. Wait a minute. Me. It ain't good till you get some chips in. If you subscribe to my channel, I, I can guarantee you I might get you tickets to get Banky Meals. Hi. I might pull a few strings. I don't know. You just got to subscribe. <clears throat> Big sexy does. <laughs> now, this right here is how we be eating in there. Yeah. We had chips on the side. We got our meal. Then we usually get a cold soda. But in this situation, we don't go with the soda. We don't go with the more healthy drink. They always trying to make me be healthy. You will go with the water. And right here, you have a meal. Bon appetit. I'll tell you. Oh, wait. Well, this one out. I'm part of the baby oh, yeah. kind of deliciousness. That's right. Y'all see it? Yeah. That's right. I helped prepare the meal by washing. <laughs> make sure there was no extra ingredients added in. It's hot. You gotta let it cool down a little bit. I have no patience. Fresh out the microwave. I ain't got no patience. <laughs> I'm hungry. Fresh out the microwave. Show them a uh, little bit of my culinary skills. Just gonna take this stuff and dress it up as if as if we was in a restaurant. And we was gonna serve. And we will put it back up in here. Mm -hmm. Let that marinate for a second. Danae Gilliam, why do you have your mask on in your house? I said the same thing. Because I'm cooking food that I'm not eating alone. Other people are eating, so it's just a sign of respect. I know if someone was cooking my food, I want them to be clean. And I want them to wash their hands and wear a mask during the coronavirus. So uh, hopefully that answers your question. No, uh, no, no. I ain't trying to um, offend nobody who want to see me. I'm going to take the mask off, but look at that. Ooh, that's for my nephew, y'all. Let him get a piece of this good money. Maximum Caffeine said, how is it best? Let me tell you something. It's so good, my mouth, I just burned this in a bite. I'm pretty upset right now, but it's so good. Y'all got to tune in. Y'all got to figure out how to... How to get your free bacon meal. Um, Joshua Hampton. See that? You are the man loving the videos and the cooking 100. Love them. Now see what it is. I'm thinking this is what I'm thinking, man. For some type of promotion. Somebody go get me 100 subscribers, man. If you don't live too far, I might come to your house and cook for you. Because we need to get them numbers up. We need to get them numbers up so we can have all that love and positivity over here. That's what we're trying to do over here, have some love and positivity all the time, you know, so we can spread and get contagious. 
And then we just have a better world, man. We'll get rid of some of this hate. And go out there and vote, too, man. Go out there and vote. If you haven't already, go vote, man. And make sure, you know, make your voice be heard. No matter who you want to vote for, just go out there and make your voice be heard, man. But I wish y'all could taste this. I appreciate y'all coming out here and sharing this time with me. I need y'all to write in and comment and let me know if y'all enjoyed this. Let me know if y'all want me to do this again or let me know if y'all enjoying this live experience. It's new to me, so hopefully I didn't bore y'all to death. And um, y'all got some good cooking tips out of this and y'all go try this stuff. So I appreciate y'all out there, man. Keep on subscribing. Tell a friend, man. Like, share, comment. Uh, hit the notification button. And um, subscribe to Big Sexy Days and subscribe to my son, Hollywood Trail. Y'all can't see him. He's behind the camera right now, but he make all this stuff happen for me. Um, I love y'all out there, man, for supporting me, man. I love y'all out there for being positive, man. I want y'all to keep on doing that, man. Keep that positive energy and flow coming, man. So uh, be smart out there. Be safe. Make good decisions. Um, any more body out there trying to holler at me? Let me see what's going on out they here. They said drop the cash at the PayPal. <laughs> it's um, Baby Bop, B-A-B-Y, B-O-P. Salute, Dad, your son. Because I say your name right. <laughs> and your blanket. Okay, that's what's up. Auntie Pee Wee, hit that. <laughs> what's that? Hit that button, y'all. That's why right. hit the button. Hit that button. Let me read some of this stuff here myself. Y'all know I need glasses, but I'm still um, trying to see what's going on here. Okay, JC313. Shout out, Banky. Shout out to you, JC. Uh, Nursing B, still in. That's my number. Call me. Uh, call me. Okay, call you. Why you call me? Uh, Jenny Snaps. I really enjoyed this video. I was late. But it looks so good. It is good. Look at Dad's eating that food like that. It's good. Oh, yeah, I'm off the clock. I'm sorry. Listen. I can't talk right now. Do y'all see what that's saying? Finish. Off the clock. Sorry. Pure delicious. What's the purpose in cooking food if it's not going to taste good? If I cook it, I put the goodness in it. It's already. That's that positive energy. All that goodness goes in the food. It's in there. All you got to do is cook food with a smile. Just cook it with good energy. It's going to be good. Um, let me see what else. Who else out here shouting? Tell Veronica I like tomorrow. Uh, Samuel Pagan, say uh, how the food tasting. Talk to him, Dad. Tell hey, me the food. Hey, look, speechless. That's why I'm quiet. <laughs> okay, Robin Heist said, can I please have a burrito? Give me a hundred uh, subscribers. I might come cook you a burrito, uh, Robin Heist. Uh, Van Albright, I'm gone. Uncle Bank, peace. Peace and blessings, bro. I appreciate you, man. One hundred. Oh, uh, blessed woman. That's right. Good vibes. Love vibes, man. Um, <laughs> okay, Shirley uh, Garmin. I'm glad to be cooking again. I like to cook. I have fun when I cook. I just got to get the time and space, you know. When I was doing the cooking videos, at first I was doing it with Joe. Joe already had the facilities and stuff to do it in. So, like I say, it's a little different now. But um, I'm going to try to do it for y'all because I know y'all like like it. And I like I like doing it, you know. So, we're going to keep it moving. We're going we gonna to get some more stuff out there, T. Uh, King Louis, God bless you, Brent. I'm out. God bless you, too, brother. 100. Uh, salute, Banky, from Flint, Michigan. Home of Floyd Mayweather. Salute to you, Flint. Okay. And um, the girl boxer. Yeah, she from Flint, Michigan, too. Um, the best girl boxer in the world, for real, but... I don't know about her. Ronda Rose. No, her name is uh, Clarissa Shields. Clarissa Shields. Shout out to Clarissa Shields. Best girl boxer in the world. She can whoop a lot of guys, I tell you that. Yeah, 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 she like that. Yeah, um, all right, shout out Cali, man. T81, man, here from Cali. Checking. All right, that's what's up. What's good? What's good with y'all out there in Cali? I've never been. I like to go, though. Send me a plane ticket. i come see you. I, I would love to go to Cali. Maximum caffeine. Yeah. Danae Gilliam sent you 25 Danae! Oh, Danae Gilliam. Shout out to Danae Gilliam, $25. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that for sure. Shout out to you, man. Much respect. Appreciate you. Love. Uh, okay, freestyle. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Thank you for sick rap, man. Hey, look. <laughs> I can't rap, but this can rap. Nah, I can't rap, man. Uh, I wish I could, though. It's, that's a... Uh, 
That's a um, a God given skill, man. I can't do it though. What's up, Banky from uh, Darius Harad, man? What's up with you? What's happening out there? Okay, uh, Dorsey, salute from New Orleans. Keep working. I'm trying, champ. I'm trying. I'm doing my best, man. I just want to spread this goodness around, man. When you bless, you got to try to spread it around, man. It was a whole lot of times I ain't know if I would ever even be out here. So every day I'm out here, man, I'm going to try to make it all love. I'm going to try to keep a smile on my face. I'm going to try to put a smile on somebody else's face. And I'm going to try to keep it pushing, man. So... Shout out to all y'all, man. Don Waters, man. Much love from Georgia. Much love to Georgia, man. Shout out Georgia, man. Um, Harry Mack, Freestyle King. Okay, Harry Mack. I might go check you out, Freestyle King. Um, shout out to my man, man. Ty Pretty, man. Go check Ty Pretty out on um Instagram and Facebook, man. That's a young nigga, young dude out there, young little dude out there. He be battle rapping and everything. And he he my soldier. I, I raised him in there and I taught him how to box in there. And he was already a rapper, and he out here now, and he's doing his thing. He done been winning rap battles. He been putting stuff out on Facebook and Instagram all the time. And he's a soldier, man. I taught him out of boxing in prison, man, and he's like my little brother. So go check him out, Ty Pretty, on Instagram. And shout out to everybody else I did time with. I'm going to introduce you all to a lot of people as time go on. People that's out here just doing good things, man. Shout out to my brother, uh, Victor Alvarez, man, he's out here now too. He used to be my sale partner. He's getting ready to get a book published. He's writing a book. Go check him out. You know, a lot of good people out here, man, just doing good things, man. So shout out to everybody out here that got out here, man, and wasn't bitter and didn't hold a grudge, man, and just came out here and hit the ground, man, and say, man, I got to do what I got to do. So shout out to them, man, you know. So everybody out there, man, that's, um, is doing something positive. That's what's up, man. Uh, Butterfly K, my son looks up to you. He promises to act better. Thanks, Banky. Well, tell him that that's a good move and tell him I appreciate that, man. Tell him I said shout out. I wish you would have told me his name. I would have shouted him out. But uh, that's who you need to listen to, man. Listen to your mother, man, because everybody else ain't going to have your best interests at heart, man. Your mother and your father, they always going to have your best interests at heart. Keep that in mind whether you like what they're saying or not. Look at the source. Look at where it's coming from. They're telling you that because they love you and they just want the best from you. Now ask yourself, who else loves you more than your mother and your father? So take that in consideration. So stay on the right track, man. Ain't nothing on the other side. Nothing good. Um, Who else is out here? Let me see. Uh, Francine Smith. Does he have a whole website, your partner, that has a book coming out? Can you share it? I think he's on Facebook. His name is Victor Avarez. I think he's on Facebook, but I'll find out and try to get y'all that information. Um, he used to be my sale partner for many years, man. He's a good brother. And uh, we probably got out without a, a month and a half apart. Um, blessed woman, that's true. Okay, uh, T81, who do you meet and greet in the future, baby? Man? Will I do a meet and greet in the future? I was asked about that. What do y'all mean? Like meet somebody from off of here? If that's what y'all asking me, of course. I have no problem with that. All I need is the time and the opportunity. Of course. I told you I don't just look at people as some subscribers. I didn't even know what that was a couple of months ago. I look at you like supporters and friends. So we all friends. We all family right here. Of course, I do meet and greet if, you know, that's what y'all want to do. But right now, I, I got to um, go ahead on and try to close up. What's up, uh, bro, man? Me and Big Sexy Dad's go together, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, okay. I ain't got nothing to do with it, man. That's none of my business. That's, that's, that's none that's, of my that's business. Treat her right. That's treat her right, you know. That's like my little daughter. So as long as you treat her right, we all good. Y'all take care out there, man. And you know, I appreciated this time with y'all, man. I had a good time, man. And all y'all who took the time to do this right here, the right end and stuff. And to say something, man, I appreciate y'all, man. Love from my heart, man. I appreciate y'all, man. I hope y'all getting all this love back. I appreciate y'all. Stay smart out there. Stay safe. Make good decisions. Tune in to Banking Pound. We're just getting started. We'll be back again soon. Uh, I got a video that's going to come out tomorrow or today. Did it come out today? Had a video came out today. Hope y'all are going to watch it. It's coming out at 5 o'clock. Um, and it's about this uh, community. And it's about these things right here, which y'all said. I just read them and, and gave y'all that love back because... I know it takes time to do this, and I know y'all are 
taking your time to look at me and you saying things that you mean from your heart. So I wanted to give y'all the love and shout out back. So look out for that video today at 5 o'clock. Peace. Be safe. I'm out.